Firearms can be dangerous if handled improperly. Only handle a firearm if you have proper training. Please, don't try any of this at home. Hello and welcome to Will Stop a Bullet. I'm your host, Adam Carson. That's Will. Hey. Back from the dead. And, uh, this is my alarm clock. And, uh, it made me late for work. Because in the middle of the night, it just stopped working. And, uh, you know what? Payback? It's gonna be sweet. Well. Let's, uh. What do you think? Well, I think you should go from the front or from the top. I like the front. Alright. I can buy that. Good, because you did, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Thanks. So this is my laptop, and my PDA, and all the other crap we broke in season one. Microwave? Oh yes, the microwave. I miss that microwave. Well, let's shoot this alarm clock, because I don't love it. First up, 22 long rifle. Well, hmm. Ooh, a little bit of zombie brains in there still. <laughs> Water's coming out of it. That's nice. Got right to the clock radio right there. And up there, the snooze button. Came out both times. Now, I'm not wasting another test vessel on this thing, but I am still going to blow the crap out of it. So, 9 millimeter. All right, 9 millimeter. Going hot. All right, shotgun slug. Ooh. Well, uh, I would say uh, she's definitely broken now, more than she already was. Now you can't get up in the mornings. <laughs> that sounds like a personal <laughs> Oh god, we can't use that in the show at all. <laughs> but anyway, will an alarm clock stop a bullet? <laughs> in particular this broken one that really sucks? I'm going to go with... No. No, it will not. Well, thanks for watching Little Stop Bullet. I'm your host, Adam Carson. Take aim. Take care.